The Laken goal of taking over the world is slowly getting closer. The Mediterranean is secured, but plans keep falling apart. Now the king plans to attack Europe and completely remove the Carlings from power and replace them with his own dynasty. Also, if everybody watching subscribed and hit my goal in no time, and it would mean so, so much to me. Thank you. So welcome back to our dynasty of many crowned run. And last time, of course, we secured the Mediterranean. And we did plant or get ready to plant our son on the throne of Burgundy. But through a bit of unluck, somehow it's ended up with our daughter because the old ruler died and it was just an absolute mess. She was married to us, who was our son at the time. And yeah. It's ended up with our daughter holding a pretty big duchy over there. So what we're probably going to do with her is just try and support her and see if we can get her back to a kingdom at some point. But I'm going to be honest, I don't have much hope for it. But we died right at the end yesterday. And one thing I noticed, for whatever reason, we are Catholic. Now, I don't think there's any reason to stay Catholic. To be honest with you, I was pretty happy being Orthodox. I don't know why this guy did convert, but I mean, if we get the piety, I may just go back to Orthodoxy because that's what we were. That's what all our land is. But I mean, our next target is going to be focusing on Europe and trying to get some kings inside of Europe. So being Catholic may help with that because they may like me slightly more. Now, there's Bavaria, East Francia, West Francia, Aquitaine, Frisia, and then maybe if we got into the UK, like England and Wales. But I would like to get like at least three or four here, to be honest with you. Get a big hold over here and take down the Carlings because one of the other things I want to do, like I did say last time, I want to become the most renowned house and dynasty in the entire world. And to do that, we need to take over the Carlings, who, as you can see, are currently fabled. So we pretty much need to get legendary. So what we need to do as well is slow down the Carlings. we got to take all their thrones, basically, just so they don't keep building up tons of renown and instead we can get that renowned. So that's why I want to take on Europe as soon as possible. Now I was looking about and Bavaria may be able to marry our son non-matrilineally. Problem is, he is ill. So we're going to do this marriage and hope my son doesn't die. Do we have a court physician? No, let's get a court physician and we'll pick up a court tutor as well. Make sure they're both being educated because, of course, we are also a witch. So if we go to the activities tab, as you can see, we can host grand rights. Uh, yeah, it just kind of happened by accident. It was because of Monica. She just like offered our current ruler if they want to be a witch. So we took that opportunity and founded a witch code of course. And our dynasty is up to 38 living members because we're spending quite a lot of time just making sure everybody's married, right? And making sure everybody's witches as well. Now, our vassals don't much like us anymore. And a lot of that probably comes down to our faith. We have this guy who is our family. And I believe over here is our family. And then Sicily is owned by somebody else entirely. But I think we should be able to keep them on our side. We could demand their conversion and just stay Catholic, but I may actually just change back. So I'll hold out on that decision for now and instead let's focus on Bavaria so to do that we now have our son or in a second there we go second in line for the throne through marriage and then their children will be of our dynasty so we've actually got to take out this child now we don't have the greatest chance we're gonna have to go down an intrigue focus we can ransom off some prisoners try and get our money back up as well and let's see i mean oh yeah okay so East Frankia's daughters are both already married. West Frankia, they're quite old, so they probably have their own children. Aquitaine, kind of the same problem. But what we can do is pin the next in line for each of these titles. And then that way we can kind of get ahead of the curve and just kind of marry their grandchildren who will eventually be in line, right? That is something we can try. But... Of course, that could go very wrong at any point. Okay, so we picked up Truth is Relative. They have two sons now. So what we need to do is try and find this guy's spy master. And if possible, fabricate the hook. Very low chance. Maybe somebody else because that is such a low chance. It's going to be pointless. What about his Marshall? 90% chance. Let's do that. So I believe like Marshalls and stuff still can help you. It's just not as helpful. Oh, there we go. We can ask the Pope for money as well. I'm definitely going to do that because we could really do with that money as pretty soon in 16 months, we will have unlocked manoralism. So we can start improving our economy buildings. And it seems like West Frankia is picking up the rest of that land. Let's just 
just hope West Frankia doesn't go for them. That would be a big problem for us. All right, we can get a weak hook. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we got to start trying to get these murders done soon. So 31% chance can bribe this guy. What about his marshal? Is he there? Use hook. There we go. We can get his marshal on board as well. And let's see. I'd happily enough bribe somebody else. I want to get it as high as I can. There we are. 94% chance. So if he's taken out, we've got to take out one more son as well. But just doing this now should hopefully set up our family. Now, we want to keep looking about. Okay, so inheritance has happened in West Francia. So that's not great for us either. Everybody else seems married. The thing with like this sort of playstyle is you just have to wait for the right moment to strike. Otherwise, it's just not going gonna happen and we've really got to start getting rid of these carlins they must be getting so much renown per month oh our success chance has gone down to 24 it must have yeah it's been discovered so yeah we're gonna have to spend a little bit more gold now which is just great so how about them three what does that get up to 76 we just have to bribe as much as we can it's so important that we are successful here involvement i just spent all that money oh no and i attempted family murder and i think Okay, we can still try again. We just can't do it for him for 10 years. And he should still be alive in 10 years. So that may not be the end of the world. We're just going to have to hope nothing too major happens there in the next 10 years. And just take out any other heirs that get in the way. Okay, so a 95% chance to take out the son of King Hugo. There we go. And we wasn't discovered for that one. So as you can see, if we look at inheritance now, second in line is going to have my dynasty's children. We have to wait another the nine years to actually try it on him again. So that could be a problem. Let's just hope the current ruler doesn't die. Oh no, right. That is the worst thing that could have happened. So the previous ruler of Bavaria died from stress. Now our daughter-in-law, I guess, is the current regent, but we need to make sure basically that he has no children still or he doesn't get overthrown and we can't exactly help him. So we just got to pray that things go well for us. It's not really much much else we can do now for a little while for Bavaria. We just got to let it play out and hope for the best. Okay, so I think I may actually give the Byzantine Empire a go right now. If we look, they use normal confederate partition and his primary heir is this guy who has two sons, two daughters. So if we tried marrying, say, one of our children, this guy, to his daughter, he won't still take a grand wedding. Main problems being marrying down and he doesn't like me. But even still, we're probably going to have to pay for a grand wedding, which average cost 475 gold, or we can try try and fabricate a hook. Now, our chance on that isn't exactly great. You can try and get maybe a better spy master, say you, my acclaimed knight, and get you to support schemes. 71% chance, but if we can get our marriage pretty soon, we can prepare then to try and take over the Byzantine Empire, which would be absolutely massive for our family. Problem is, we will just get completely taken out of being the house head, I think, so somebody else will take over being the house head, which is isn't great. But that's just the kind of thing that happens when you play this way. I do want to go back to orthodox. I think that is what I'm going to do. And to do that, we need... Oh, we can do it now. Let's do it. There we go. Glory to God. Oh, we, we lost the domain limit for that. Um, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I guess the Catholics were being helpful in some way. And look at that. We're just now passing 50 living members. Think about it. As long as we keep marrying everyone, it should like skyrocket a lot. If everybody has like two children, right? It should start going up massively. Oh, it was exposed. So it's down to 12% chance. This couldn't go much worse, right? It was on like a 90% chance of secrecy and it was still exposed. Ooh. Hmm. We could pay now for a grand wedding. I don't know if we can afford it, though. Average cost, 475. We have three years, so let's do it. We can do a grand wedding. They have to come of age first, though, I believe. So we don't have to worry about that just yet. But we've got to make sure as soon as our son comes of age, we have about 500 gold ready to host a grand wedding. But in the meantime, what we got to do is start taking out his other children. So don't worry about the hook anymore. we got to try and clear the way now for our dynasty. Getting the bison empire this early would actually be amazing. 95% chance. There we go. And they say children are the future. Now what we're going to do is hope this guy does take the throne. If this guy somehow dies, we're in trouble. So what I may actually do is if we look at the current inheritance, the daughters are not counted just yet. So if we end up killing this child and he dies too early, 
He'll go to a completely different family. So as long as we keep him alive for now until maybe this guy dies. And we'll have to let that happen naturally. There we go. The forest of corpses. At the last, my vision has been brought to life by the corpses of countless criminals. I stroll with leisure to the ambient sound of squawking birds and the gentle drip of stale blood onto the sodden ground. So we get the nickname the Impaler and our capital gains forest of of corpses, more taxes, more control, but less popular opinion. So we are now known as the Impaler. Now I've noticed a problem. They're going to stay patrols for a while because apparently this regent is not loyal enough to consent to be married off. So that is great. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What has gone on? Oh my God. This is the problem. Right. So uh, Basilius we knew drank himself to death, passed it on to this guy who was maimed by a wild beast. And this was the father of the daughter we married our son to. So his son now has the throne and he is facing a war for somebody's claim on the throne. Now, can we get an alliance with you to try and help you out with that? Because, I mean, we're so close to being in line. Don't want to let that fall out our way. Surely we can get an alliance through... They're not married, though. Is it because they're only betrothed? I don't know. I thought we should be able to get an alliance through that. Yeah, that is quite annoying because I think we've pretty much lost our ways with the Byzantine Empire now. I think they're pretty much done for because of an unlucky death. And if they somehow win that, I'd be very happy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Something's going on in Bavaria. What has happened? So, oh, the queen who is betrothed to my son just got the throne by abdication. Now, let's look. This... Oh, um... <laughs> That guy is fighting for his claim, and they are more powerful than us. Damn, there's not really much we can do here. We can't lose both of them like this. What do we do? Can we win? I don't know. I mean, let's just get over there as fast as we can and try and help out. We're going to go this way to try and meet up with their armies. There's 5,000 there. Do they beat us? I imagine so. Yeah, probably. What we can try, I think if we kill this guy, the murder will end, although we have like 0% chance, so I'm not exactly counting on that to work for us. I mean, one thing we could do is who is the leader? That would be you. Yeah, I was going to say siege their capital, but their big army's right there. You take out this army. Maybe just start sieging up this way, maybe? Wait, a twist of fate? Uh, he flagellated himself to death, so surely... Okay, it's changed to a tyranny war. Hmm, okay, I thought it would have ended, but apparently it's still a tyranny war. Now, what's going on over here? Oh, the war's still going on, okay. <laughs> I thought that he looked different. I think he's growing up now and got like a beard and that. And I was like, who is that? But look, she is still there. So if he can manage to win these, although he is facing a lot of walls right now, can still potentially get that. Look at that. Our daughter's all growing up. Still not married. She's traveling somewhere and she looks like a witch, right? She is definitely a witch. Yeah, she has to be. There is no way. Right, my allies are just speeding down there. So let's try and stick with them. Oh my God. My niece is now calling me to war against a tyranny war. This is rough. I mean, if she loses, she is deposed and it passes to my player Aaron's son, who is also married to the ruler of Bavaria. I can't help her right now. Bavaria is much more important, to be honest with you. I mean, what we should do is go and fight them. Are they coming in to fight us? I think so. So we'll join with her and hope they run into us and we win. If we lose this battle, yeah, we're done. Yeah? Oh my. Oh no. Right. We're in debt. This is going terribly. So what happens now if she loses? She's deposed and it passes on to this guy. We cannot let that happen. So how are we going to win? We're in a mess. We're literally losing everything right now. Although Bavaria is the most important one. They're not super powerful, but we don't have money to rebuild our men at arms. And what about our head of faith? He doesn't seem to ever want to give me money. He wouldn't anyway, even if we had enough piety. So this is really tricky. Right. This may cost us, but we're going to try and go for their capital and try and get like a nice capture. That's the only option we have right now is just siege fast. But they're probably going to come marching right for us any second. And if we don't get a cap, is this the right war? No. Okay, that was that war. She won that. Okay, I thought I won the Bavaria one then. But we're up 12%. I guess that's okay. But it's still probably not enough. I mean, even if they get a white piece, that would be enough. But it just doesn't seem like we're going to get one. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> There we go. So, actually, we won both of them. I think, yeah, the Byzantine whole empire is just an absolute mess right now. So, I'm just not touching that for now. 
But whoever this is is born should be the next heir, and they will be of my dynasty. So Bavaria is very close to being secured. Oh god, that was so we need to build our power up now so we can be more helpful when it comes to these walls. I think that's what I'm gonna do for a while. We'll still maybe try plant people here and there, but right now we need to save up a lot of gold, and with that gold, start building up quite a lot more. We do have way too many sons right now, so we are gonna have to like try and manage inheritance quite a bit. There we go. Bavaria's main player here is our dynasty. So yeah, our current actual route to the Byzantine Empire are now completely gone. So we are not going to go ahead with that grand wedding anymore. So we're just going to break the betrothal. We do lose a level of fame, but because it's a promised grand wedding, otherwise we end up with like a house feud. And I don't think we really want to feud with these guys right now. So we're just going to break the betrothal and take the level of fame hit. Oh, it causes a feud anyway. Or well, we can avoid the feud. Okay, we'll just say how childish and just avoid the house feud. We do not want to get caught up in that right now. And she just got vassal by West Frank. Yeah, so that's not great. Although maybe she can expand inside his borders. I got no idea, but yeah. That is not great for us. And she just got imprisoned and lost her titles. Damn, really? She got vassalized, instantly imprisoned. Yeah, we've got to get rid of these Carlings as soon as we can. But we'll get there soon. We're just going to slowly build up first. Make sure we're in a good position. And then we'll start taking over a lot more. But it's looking good. So far, Bavaria is still going our way, which is perfect. Wait, what is this guy's problem? So the King of West Francia vassalized, you know, the land we had there with our dynasty. And now he has just murdered our daughter. Why? I have no idea. We are getting revenge, though. We have to try and take revenge. Nobody wants to help us, though. We are now rivals, but our success chance of trying to murder him is very low. And we can't exactly defeat him in a war. Ooh, and Bavaria is making a lot of alliances now as well, which is nice. So hopefully they can stand on their own a bit better. You know what? 5% chance he's killed. Let's take it. Yeah, of course. He survived that. No problem. That makes sense. Uh, and yeah, the ruler of West Frankie. You know, he couldn't deal with it. He drank himself to death, split in West Francia, Burgundy and Aquitaine apart. Or oh, I think Aquitaine might have already been independent. So I'm not going to do anything for now. Ooh, look at that. I'm just going to focus on what I was doing. We're almost like fully done building up now. And pretty soon we will have household soldiers. I mean, that's not going to directly affect what we take because not doing it through war mostly, but just that good thing to fall back on if they need it. It's pointless spending loads of time getting all my dynasty in these really high, powerful places, but then not being able to help them defend it. They're just going to keep falling apart. We got very lucky with Bavaria, so we're just going to keep on with just them for now. And on succession, we will have a second one with the Kingdom of Crete. Oh, and we died at 60 years of age and we are now playing as our 41 year old son let's have a look we're already having a mental break so we're gonna drink and binge always fixes everything and as you can see our half brother who is of our dynasty has taken the kingdom of crete now he's very weak and he won't take an alliance with me so let's just hope he doesn't get overthrown but that is an extra kingdom title our dynasty is now making five renown per month which is very nice okay our brother right now is losing a dissolution war but he will finally take an alliance. So hopefully we can get over there quick enough and stop him losing this war. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Go, go, go. Yeah, he's already calling me. We need to get over there like now. There we go. We got in that battle. They're down 100%. Oh my God, why? So he still has land, but it's split in half. Hopefully he can take that back at some point, but that's not great. I'm going to start looking around now for other places to try and get my family on the throne. Now, East Francia would be very nice. I mean, do do we have the chance of it or no? We don't know if we even have enough sons really this life. So we might not be able to do too much till we die and play as him. The murder you scheme was exposed. Uh, does that mean he's trying to murder me? My very own son and player A is trying to murder me. This has turned into an absolute mess. Like, why are you doing this? I, I just don't know what I've done, but okay. Thanks, I guess. And one problem I'm having right now is I can't seem to try and make my heir a witch. We're just not having the option show up for anybody right now, although we are a witch because we can hold grand rights. Or maybe I'm not, although it's still showing up, but I can't actually do it. So I have no idea what has happened with the witch thing. We've died and inheritance have been a mess quite a few times now, but I did make sure that my heir was a witch. So... 
This guy should be a witch because I remember doing it. But I, I don't know right now what has gone on with that. And any second, we will have unlocked household soldiers. Although for some reason, it was stuck for a little while there. But once that is unlocked, there we go. We can get a way, way bigger army now. So let's see. We can now have another one extra regiment and all of these can go up to eight. So we need to get mangonels. That is essential. And let's think. We can have one more. We've got light horsemen. We've got pikemen, bowmen, and armored footmen. Now we don't have any don't have any light footmen, but I think I would rather another stack of armored footmen than that. So what we're gonna do now is just work on getting a way, way bigger army, upgrading all of these. And then hopefully by the time we have inheritance and we're playing as this guy, we'll have a way better army. And then we can really focus on taking complete control of Europe. Oh, and there we have it. We died at 72 years of age. So now, as you you can see Bavaria and our previous lands have been united into one. So what I am going to do, I think I need to make this my primary title again. We're back to that. And also our culture has changed. So if we actually go ahead and convert to local culture, we'll be back to being Sardinian and pretty quickly we'll be back to being the cultural head. We are making 40 gold a month and we have 3000 gold, but we have 14 out of eight domain holdings. Now, now, what I would like to do, I think it's what I'm going to do. Our second in line will be getting the kingdom, I believe. Yeah, so this guy stands to inherit the kingdom of Bavaria and all this other land. Now, one problem I'm seeing is, say if I go to him and I go to grant titles and give him all of this land, um... He's not going to take all the vassals, and I don't know why. Like, this guy will stay as my vassal rather than go be a vassal of the king of Bavaria. So what if we grant titles, we give him everything but the kingdom. So he now takes all of that, and he now rules Austria. We can grant vassals, but of course, we can only give him county vassals? I don't know if there even is any. No, there's not. So if we grant title and give him the kingdom of Bavaria, as you can see, there's quite a few that actually won't be vassalized by him. So what I, I'm going to give it to him. He's going to go independent. Then we are going to grant all of these their independence as well, because I don't want to deal with them either, to be honest with you. Oh, we're gaining stress for this, but it's got to be done because what I'm going to do is release them all. I mean, we'll keep Venice for now, not to get any more stress, but hopefully... That now he, our son, can actually go ahead and hopefully take all that. We'll see, though. I don't know if it's going to work out like that, but that is what we can really just hope for. But now we have had inheritance, it is time to focus on getting some more kings in our dynasty. So we have Bavaria and hopefully this guy at some point. We can get an alliance with Bavaria as well. Let's do that. Because look, at this point, we are quite powerful. We've got 5,000 men. I want to focus now on East Francia, West Francia, and Aquitaine. Now, East Francia would be best as they are just so powerful. We have 16,000 thousand men which is absolutely insane but my guy has one intrigue so scheming is going to be terrible with this guy but we can try but we do have a few children luckily so we can try and get some of them to inherit some stuff but let's see i think aquitaine would be the best start for us get bavaria and aquitaine hopefully they can ally they'll be of the same dynasty and maybe take on east frankia and stuff like that so let's have a look you are the primary heir and you're married to an old woman who will have no children so that might mess things up for us what about west frankia you're the heir and you are now starting to have children so that could be our way into West Francia, is if we wait for him to have more children, get a marriage with those. And East Francia, his oldest daughter's already betrothed, but these could be ways for us to get in there, hopefully anyway. I'm going to send this guy some money. Oh, we're getting so much stress for it, though. You know what? I'll take it. Let's just send him 225 gold, just so we can hopefully maybe build up his army a bit or anything like that. And also, yeah, we are back to being Catholic again. <laughs> We just keep ending up Catholic. It just keeps happening, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll convert back again. It's probably quite expensive, though. Yeah, it's very expensive. So maybe we're stuck as Catholic for now, to be honest, which is not what I wanted. But I mean, I'll do what I have to do. So this guy now who is the heir to West Francia, he's had another daughter. Hopefully we can marry her, although she seems to be in the other side of the world. So we can't actually reach her and get a marriage. Don't know what is going on with that. Now, one thing we could try is if we look at East Francia, if we move murder this man here 
his daughter will be available to be married, although she is pregnant. But there is a way for us potentially to try and pick up East Franken. Now, we don't have a great chance, but can bribe his spy master. There we go. So let's hope this is a success. It looks like she must have lost the child because, yeah, it is not appearing. So, I mean, that is good for us. <laughs> as horrible as that is. Right, 95% chance. There we go. It was a success. So what we need to try and do is marry her to... I should have a son ready to be married. Who are you married to? Let's get them divorced. Perfect. And now before she remarried, can we get her with my son? There we go. So let's do that. And this was for, I believe, East Frankia in the future. There we go. So what we have to do now is just make sure we keep taking out any of her brothers in the way and hope we can take that one as well. Oh, nobody wants to join me on this one. So that is not good. Usually there's at least a few people who will want to help you, but... No, nobody wants to help me take him out. Let's just try it. See what happens. I think we're going to have to give up on that for now. We can't do it for another 10 years, but we should have a little bit of time to try and work this out. What we need to do is... Oh, he has like no courtiers. I think that's a problem. Like this guy, he has a barony. So I think when you're trying to murder somebody, when you're inviting people, you need people in their court and their vassals and stuff like that because he's a baron. He has no courtiers. His wife won't help us. He's not going to help us. So we're kind of stuck and I don't think we're going to be able to murder them anytime soon, which leaves us, yeah, in a very tricky spot where we need this guy to take over East Frankia very soon. So we can try and murder the current ruler. And then once he's the ruler of East Frankia, there should be some people we can bribe. And we can take out his other son first and then we have to wait 10 years to take him out. So who can we invite? How much are you? 88. That's not bad. And that takes us to a 95% chance already. So let's try and get rid of him. And look how much land they own. It's crazy. Right. 95% chance. There we go. So he is now the ruler of East Frankia. So I believe if we try on his other the sun. Yeah, we got way more agents now, as you can see. Way, way, way more. Now, how old is that other kid? He is 14, and we're not going to be able to murder him for another seven years. So odds are he's going to have some children before we can take him out. So it's going to get messy, but... There is a way we can try and get East Frankia here. So that is good. I'm happy with that. Oh, okay. So, okay, we just come up beast. Nice. But Frisia up here is a kingdom. They're not very powerful, but he's had two daughters, three daughters, actually, look. And we can marry our grandson, non matrilineally to his second in line. There we go. So, I mean, eventually, his second in line will start having our children as well. We only got to take out one person for that. So this is how we get the ball rolling now. It's just a lot of targeting, waiting for the right moment and striking. But first of all, we'll try to take him out and then we're going to move our focus onto Frisia. Lotharingia, maybe? Maybe in the future when he's old enough to have children. That could be something we do. I may conquer another kingdom, to be honest with you. I don't know where, though. Catholic Aquitaine could be cool, but... It looks like they're in a terrible position to keep losing their land. This could be an interesting one. We haven't used any of the Mediterranean uh, conquest for counties, to be honest. I was considering it, but it just felt like it would just drag a video on. And it's not really part of the goal. The idea was cool in my head. Like, I'm happy we got this. So I'm still happy we did it. But maybe for a different video, maybe in a few months. So it's not, you know, the same thing over again. We could try and actually create an empire that has every single county on the border. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. That could be pretty fun. I'm thinking... Thinking, what about this kingdom here? Problem is, we are going to have to go to war for the duchies rather than a kingdom. But, I mean, I'm going to try it. It could be pretty cool to finally get someone down in Africa, right on the tip, look. So our main focus for today anyway is Europe, but why not? We could conquer a little bit. This kid should hopefully be dead pretty soon. Oh, no. Oh, right. Right, hopefully he's gone. Damn, who are you? You had another sibling. Oh, God. oh this is turning into a mess. Right, I'm going to focus on East Frankia a minute first before we focus on Frisia. So I'd much rather lose that one. But their brother has now taken control as he died. He drank himself to death. So she should be, yeah, next in line after him. So when we take him out, we still can't murder him for a little while yet. Another eight years. So we have to take out his children as well. This is going to be a mess. But... You know, we got to do what we got to do. Murdering a child. Are you certain about this? It's going to cost us 180 gold. There we go. We are gaining stress from this, 
But our family is now, well, next in line for the throne, technically. Now, he is losing a war, or he's just started a war for someone's claim on the throne. <sighs> Don't lose, please. I mean, what if we murder you? If we murder him, it changes to a tyranny war, I believe. So let's bribe everybody. And, you know, we've got to protect them from the shadows. We've got to make sure this works out. No matter the price. Right, 95%, 12 months. So as long as this war lasts over 12 months, hopefully, he's gone. That was expensive, but getting his Frankia would be amazing. Amazing. Nickname, Moneybags. My liege, have you heard what they call you? You would perhaps rather be known as the wealthy, but unfortunately, people have a very specific view of your wealth. Moneybags. You know what? I'll take it. Well, this guy has gone up to 18,000 men now, so I think he's going to win anyway. He's got 12,000 mercenaries, but we'll help out where we can by hopefully taking him out. There we go. So, there we go. It's just turned to a tyranny war now, so it's not as essential. It's not messing up what we've set up, which is perfect. And they've already had children. He's had another child with somebody else. Oh, yeah, we did unmarry him. Forgot about that. But her primary heir, as you can see, will be Laurent de Lacon. So our dynasty is somewhat in the line for East Francia. Now, let's check on Frisia. I think we just need to get rid of her. Is he, had any, he hasn't had any sons. No. So we just got to get rid of her. And if we can do that, we've also secured Frisia. Of course, many things can go wrong, but I mean, ooh, my character is not really made to be spending money and murdering people. We have reached the highest level of stress. So let them all burn. What do we get? Minus four diplomacy see minus 20 stress gain but minus 10 general opinion and what is this one of our counties gets rampant urban fires but minus 50 percent to the tax or we can gain wounded lose a level of fame or lose one you know what we do if we lose more stress this way but that county modifier for 20 years is too much i'm gonna get wounded and lose that level of fame your dishonor comes at a cost yep i know and as you can see we've maxed out now the guile tree as well and we still have more stuff to unlock so i'm trying to think what would help you know my future dynasty members that rule kingdoms okay i think i'm gonna go down the glory tree because assertive rulers vassals are less likely to join claimant factions and liberty factions so if we can make our way and pick that up that would be really big for us oh he's been imprisoned so he has lost that war so he'll be deposed queen sophie of east francia now has an alliance with us because that is who we married to our son and the future heir of east francia is our Sardinian grandson. Look at that. Let's just hope she doesn't get overthrown. I mean, she's so powerful. We can help her as well. So I think we pretty much have Bavaria and now East Francia in our family's power pretty soon anyway. And East Francia, I mean, they're up there for being one of the most powerful people in the world right now. I mean, yeah, we got these two over here. But other than that, especially in Europe, East Francia is the biggest people about. So having them is huge. Now, how is West Francia coming along? You've had children. You're still wandering, I think. But you're in Aquitaine, so we can reach you. Would you marry my grandson? Let's do that. There we go. So we need to take out this kid eventually once we're done with Frisia. And then all we got to make sure is that he inherits and he has no other sons. And then the same thing will happen with these pair, hopefully anyway. Oh, okay. So we just picked up a claim on all of this duchy. Oh, looking at kingdom titles. Mm, I don't know if I want to conquer all of that. I thought it was just this. But looking at the kingdom titles, it's quite big. I mean, how far away are we from being a paragon of virtue? Not exactly. Mm, we're not far away, but we're not close. Maybe we don't conquer for now. We've got enough to deal with with these three up here. Right, 95% chance. There we go. I do love surprise visits. So, get that update. Frisia, future heir, is my dynasty. And these are also Carlings as well. So, we've taken Bavaria, East Francia, soon to be Frisia, and hopefully West Francia too from the Carlings. Right, I think I am just going to retake over Crete, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just they're not taking it back, so I'm just going to do it myself. But just disinherited one of my other sons. He's a vassal of Bavaria. That doesn't matter too much. So our primary heir is this guy, which is perfect, right? He's not got any important marriages going on. He's just having children that we can try and use. His son is the one married. I believe this is the uh, Frisia people. Our vassal of Bavaria is going to take a bit of land off me. And so is this guy who is married to East Francia. He's going to take a county off me as well. So I'm not... I don't know how to deal with that. Now, one thing we could do 
which I don't like to, but if we do disinherit him, if we get enough for now in time, we can always reinstate it later. And I guess it doesn't really matter. They're still of my dynasty and his children are still of my dynasty, right? It just stops him inheriting any of my titles. So I may have to try and disinherit these. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. There goes, we picked up our first county claim over here. So we're going to do that one. We could let's vassalize the other side of it then and give it to her and like give her freedom that way. So let's just, oh, we don't really need to raise all, but you know what? They're already raising now. We may as well get them some use. Just go straight over there and hopefully take it over. No problem. And um, we should destroy their army. There we go. Killed practically all of them. And there we go. We are also now murdering the person in the way for West Francia. They are the son of this guy. So hopefully that's a success, but enforce that. There we go. He's gone. And hopefully what we can do is offer vassalage. Why? Why won't you be vassalized by me? I didn't want to take it off you, to be honest, but I mean, you're not really giving us much of a choice. I was just going to make you an independent queen. But that, was, that was your choice at the end of the day. Okay. The King of England wants to marry my daughter. That would be a very cool alliance, but it doesn't really do anything for me. So I'm, I'm going to have to say no to that for now. Yeah, hopefully now she has that and she can just keep hold of it herself. That would be best, but she only has a thousand men. So she's not exactly the most powerful person. We can't get an alliance with it either. So we're just going to see how it goes for them, to be honest with you. Oh, what has happened? We can now get our bowman to size 14. I have no idea why. Why is it so much? But you know what? We're going to do it. I don't know why, but that is a lot of bowmen. So let's see. I think if we disinherit him just to stop him taking land off of us, it's not what I want to be wasting prestige and that on. But if we do it to them both, yeah, they're disinherited. But their children are still full, like, lake and house members. We're down to 47 members now. Okay. But yeah, that should be okay. It just stops them inheriting off of me. But, you know, their children are not disinherited. They're still full, proper lake on members. So that is fine. I was just sitting around like, why am I making such little money? I couldn't work it out for ages. At some point, I think we accidentally just leased it out. Uh, I'm sorry, but we have got to take that back. I mean, that, that is an expensive lease. I'll be more careful in future. Usually I just accept it without looking at what I'm giving away. But that is a lesson. I've been confused for a little while. That makes sense. <laughs> I was looking about the Kingdom of Africa doesn't exist. And I think we could maybe do a little bit of conquering and form the kingdom of Africa because that would be like a nice kingdom that borders the Mediterranean, further increasing our control over the Mediterranean Sea. And it's a fairly sized kingdom. So that is what I'm going to do. We're just over time, work our way through it, conquering duchies here and there just to try and take over it. But it's not going to be like a straight up goal that I'm going to focus on too much just when we get claims and when we can go to war. More of like a background one that we do. Ooh, look at this. Frisia, England, and East Francia, but that's like a, a count or something, a baron. Now, the numbers are pretty even. We've got Great Moravia on this side. That would be so big, though, because then our family would inherit Frisia and Lotharingia. So that's technically another kingdom title, but it'll probably be all in one for free, which would be very nice. And there we go. We died at 64. And now... King Reinhard ascends to the throne, an accomplished diplomat. So hopefully, yeah, that makes us pretty highly respected. Now, you get on managed domains, please. Let's see, we're making 10 gold a month as this character. Now, what are our stats? 17, 9, 13, 8, and 9. We're still going to try and force him into us intrigue focus. How's our air? Not very good. You? You could be good at intrigue. So let's try and make sure that happens. Put you into an intrigue focus. Double check, we have a court tutor as well. You're okay. You are a bleeder, which is not fantastic. And eventually you will be married off and take Frisia. So we could technically designate now our second in line as our main heir and save us the trouble of that. Right, we got a county claim. I'm going to take it for now. We may as well just take our first county claim over there and go straight for it. I mean, they're not very powerful, so we shouldn't have too much issue now literally just going straight over there. We may only need our men at arms, so I think that's all I'm going to take. If we can just land somewhere for a minute, get rid of that disembarkment penalty. I mean, we should be all right. Oh, uh, um, okay. They have 8,000 men now. That is scary. Oh God. Oh no. Where do they get 8,000 men from? Holy order. Oh, can we get a holy order? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a holy order as well then. And um, we're going to bring these along, meet them all up together. And now, yeah, we should win. Holy order is something we're going to have to be careful of. There's also a crusade for the kingdom of Aquitaine. Um, they look 
Catholic to me. Or I guess it's a little bit of land there they want for some reason with the whole crusade. You can select a beneficiary. Who do we want? A sister, niece, any of these good. Our sister's pretty good. Ooh. Maybe we do go help. Let's try and end this war fast. But we're losing this war. Oh, no. Right. This is going terribly. That was my fault, though. Well, let's put them into one big army. And let's try again. Come on. We've got to be able to win this. Oh, well, this is a terrible start for our cruise, for our campaign in Africa. Let's see. Do we lose or win? We lose. Okay. How much do we have to give them if we lose? A thousand? This was a terrible mistake. This is awful for us. We cannot win this. And we're rinsing through money. I don't know what to do. I'm going to be honest. We're pretty much done for. If we lose this, we're losing so much money. And we're about to go into debt as well. Now, I'm debating. We're probably going to lose anyway. So, do I just surrender now? It's gone down to 800. Or do we hold out a bit longer? Um, okay, let's surrender. Yeah, a lot of debt. That is terrible. But if we can get a lot of war score for this crusade, we may be able to bag another kingdom. Now, debt is going to be a problem. But I'm hoping we can just kind of avoid that for now. And to see if we can get the most participation in this crusade. And you basically do that. I think the best way to do it is... As stupid as it sounds, have your men die in battle. So we're not leading it. So let's just hope they come over here and kill us. We lose a lot of men. Oh, and a, s and a son. Now that was the Frisia marriage. Hmm. Oh, no. She's my courtier, actually. So what we need to do is arrange marriage. Will you not marry anybody else of my dynasty? That's my future heir, I think. Or oh, that is an heir to... Oh, if we do this... Uh... Matrilineally or not. Yeah, we can make that marriage matrilineally. And that will, should get an alliance between Frisia and East Francia on inheritance as well. Uh, so non-matrilineally. Yeah, like that. So that should actually fix that without that son. A bit rough, but we did what we had to do. And right now, look at that. We are first in contribution. Now, all our men got completely wiped out. So we've got to try and raise them again. And just keep doing that and hope the AI on our side actually win the crusade. But it doesn't look like they are. So our sacrifice may have been for nothing. Is our Yeah, I think our sacrifice was for nothing. Great. So, sorry, son. I mean, <laughs> that's not gone great. We'll try and siege a bit, but I don't think we can enough. A contribution though is still first. Look at that. Just because we lost so many men. Uh, can we finish this siege before they get us? Yes. Okay, that's something at least. Well, they are going to unseige it, but that gives the Catholics time now to group up. So maybe this will work. Come on, get in there and fight. You have loads of men. Go and fight. Just don't just stand there and starve. This is tragic. Come on, please. Why are they not going to do anything? No, okay, great. So we lost a lot of gold and, I mean, our son for no reason. It was worth a try, though. Oh, there we go. So Frisia, as you can see, have now changed to Lotharingia and still our ears are in line for that. But we're going to have to rebuild for quite some time. We're not in a great situation right now. Well, I guess that did kill our ear that we didn't really want to play as anyway. And we have this guy now as our ear. who's still not great, but at least he's a crusader, I guess. I mean, it's something. Oh my God, I was just panicking like crazy then because if we look of course this have changed with different house <laughs> and i was like who are these but no it is still my dynasty just a different cadet branch so that's fine still going towards our renown but are we not the house head anymore no bavaria is the house head so we have lost that position as well but he is still of our dynasty and stuff so that's fine did panic but it's okay Okay, so the problem with West Francia, which some of you may have noticed earlier, and I was just oblivious to, is they have on their main title, male only succession. So she is not even considered at all. Now, will he be in the line somewhere? I don't think he will. Oh, and after like succession and stuff, look, we no longer have the alliance with Bavaria, although they do seem to have pretty powerful allies and we get... Yeah. Oh, actually, Bavaria will now ally with me. They wouldn't earlier when I looked. What about you guys? Oh, they both will now. I looked not long ago and neither of them would, but now they will. So we can still try and support them. Although, let's be honest, at this point, they're more likely to support me. East Francia, 15,000 men. Bavaria, 10,000. 10,000. I mean, we are nothing compared to them. And we can ask the head of faith for gold, taking us well out of debt now, which is perfect. Oh, okay. The 
Previous ruler of Frisia did just die, and Frisia and Lotharingia have split apart. So, our family have taken Lotharingia, Frisia has stayed with the Carlings completely, but Lotharingia right now is facing a tyranny war, and East Francia is on which side? Oh, helping defend. Ooh, East Francia are actually allied with Lotharingia. Oh, of course, through him, look, that marriage we set up earlier. So, that is going to massively help Lotharingia stay in power because they've got East Francia on their back. So that is huge for Lotharingia. And of course, as you can see, there is a rule that our is. So we've lost Freezer, but we've picked up Lotharingia and there it is. So we also did just die and we are now playing as King Reinhard II. He only has one son. So we need to start getting a lot more children. My wife... Where are you? She is at my court. Okay. Uh, not attracted to men. Oh, of course she's not. I think we're going to have to get rid of you. We need to have a lot more children to get more uh, marriages set up. And you're not going to be the one. Sorry. <laughs> you are not going to help our case at all. Oh, look at that. Mark of distinction. As the renown of my dynasty grows, familiarity with the glorious Torchitorio signal spreads too. My family's emblem is now common knowledge, listed among the great royal families of the region and the highest nobility of the Sardinians. So we just become famous. Then we got glorious fabled and then legendary wait i had a witchcraft notification come up then uh or someone becoming a witch or something uh activities witch <gasps> we're a witch again just through pure luck because our father wasn't but because there was just so many of them in our family i guess at some point we were bound to become witches again oh and sadly money bags the guy who we gave bavaria to he died at 56 and now king aldebert of bavaria rules that he's still pretty powerful he's got lines with a vassal of the Byzantines, which is nice. And his children, same dynasty, perfect. Oh, um, what just happened? East Francia did just change to Germany on inheritance. So let's have a look. Title history, abdication. And is it because it's not the Carlings? It goes from being East Francia to Germany. It's not held by the Carling dynasty anymore. And this is the first time this has been held by non-Carlings. And look at that. Look how much land they own. North of England, some in Ireland. It's crazy how powerful he is now. That's how you know you've set it up well as well. Look, Bavaria is facing a war for someone's claim on Bavaria, but the person's claim is still of our dynasty. So either way, we're winning that. And if we look at the decision now, dynasty of many crowns, we are officially halfway there as we have us. Crete, so that's two. Bavaria, three. Germany, four. Wait, who is five? What has gone on? We have five, apparently. I can only think of four. Us, Crete, Bavaria, Germany. We don't have Lotharingia yet, or does it count? Because he's a king through marriage. Let's have a look. We're making 18 renown a month. So, right, that's you in Crete. Oh, you are counting, technically, because you're a ruler and you're married to the queen? So like, maybe that counts. Oh, wait, what? Wait, we have a cousin on Pomerania. Oh, so when she died, her land split up between her two sons. One of them got Germany and the other one got Pomerania. So that takes us to five. Next um, inheritance thing, Lotharingia is gonna switch to us. That makes it six. So we're basically we've got four more left to get. Africa's gonna be one. I think I'm done in Europe now, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna move to other parts of the world. I'm desperate to get the Byzantine Empire. That is something we are definitely going to do. And Africa as well. So that's eight, then two more. So maybe we'll take these guys on. Maybe. Because I think we're done with Europe. I would like to get some more in Africa and some over here. But I'm going to leave that there. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Toxic Flame, Mr. Diesel, and Zerharmus. But yeah, Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.